Hey guys, Corbin here, and I want to show you how to make your own kitchen cabinets by following along with me making my own. What you see behind me is an example of what I'm working on. These are the first portion of cabinets that I'm making for my own kitchen. I'm doing it in phases, so I've already completed one portion here over by my stove. And next, I'm going to be building the island with the sink, and you can follow along as we do that. So, let's check it out. Okay, let's take a closer look at the cabinets I'm making. And this style are full inset cabinets and they are a lot more difficult to build than overlay cabinets. Overlay cabinets, the drawers and the door faces would be on the outside of the face frame. Mine are flush with the face frame and th they're inset. And the reason it's harder is because you have to get a very consistent gap around everything and adjust it all just just right so it looks good and it's quite tricky to do. I have some tips on how to do it if you want to uh, actually try this. As you can see, the lower gap is actually just a tiny bit off compared to the upper gap and I should actually adjust this drawer up a little bit if I really want to. So, drawers, they open fully. Full extension drawers, half blind dovetails, solid maple on the interior, I'm using alder because alder is very affordable wood and easy to work with. So we have alder for the uh, face frame, solid alder here. And I'm using half inch alder ply for the inset. Plywood's nice because you can actually glue it together without worrying about expansion of any of the wood. If you use solid wood inside, you have to deal with expansion and it's a little bit trickier to make. So we've got Blum hardware for soft closed doors and drawers. It's really nice. The hardware and the knobs and whatnot are the only things I had to buy that I didn't actually make, but everything else is, is made by me, including the concrete countertops. So let's check out some more details. I'm sure everyone has thoughts as to what their best kitchen is, but I wanted big deep drawers and not so many uh, cabinet doors to have to open. It sucks to open a door and pull a drawer out, it's two operations, so why not just have really big deep drawers and they're three quarter inch maple, or sorry, five eighths inch maple and super solid. The hardware could probably support me really stepping them. So these hold a lot of the big pots and pans and there is just a mirror on each side. I'm pretty happy with that. And let's just uh, check something else out. Okay, let's take a look at what I've done here. And I have some open areas, open shelves for spices or accessories or whatever I want. Things I cook with a lot. I might move the spices to a spice rack because they're kind of hard to dig out right here. The upper cabinets are divided into three sections with shelves. They also have soft closed doors just like the lowers. We have some plexiglass or Lexan up the top because I didn't want to actually have to cut glass. And same type of construction as I did the others, which is plywood in the center and solid alder all around. We have double biscuit joints here to do the actual joinery. So behind the stove, I have my custom backsplash and I made it out of stainless steel. And I've got another video documenting how I made that, so I'll highlight it and you can go check it out. Um, let's take a look at the concrete countertops. Okay, these are my concrete countertops. They are DFRC with a black pigment. I embed some bike gears and chains in one side, and on the other side there's some glass accents. So that is an overview of the cabinets I already made. In the upcoming videos, you can follow along as I build the island cabinets to replace this mess that you see here. Subscribe and learn how to do it, and encourage me to make more videos. Thanks everyone!